When Brad Pitt left Jennifer Aniston for Angelina Jolie, she went from America's sweetheart to the ultimate victim. Months after the divorce, Jen was shocked when she found out Angelina was pregnant in the middle of an interview. And to make things worse, the media kept hounding Jen about when she was going to have a baby. She seemed so confident that their marriage was strong and even everywhere that you saw them, they just seemed like the super perfect couple. But less than a year after that interview, it was over. For almost 20 years, the media has treated Jen as this heartbroken woman who would never be happy until she had kids. Jen was America's girl next door. Brad was everyone's favorite movie star. Everything seemed perfect. But Brad was clear about wanting to start a family. Sad, after friends, we're gonna have children. Jen, when this is all done, do you wanna go home and have babies? Is there still a duel between his seven and your two oh, to no, three? I think that's, that's gotten blown way out of proportion. And while Jen was struggling with the never-ending baby talk, Brad started filming Mr. and Mrs. Smith with Angelina Jolie. Did it bother Jen? She didn't comment on it at the time, but we did some digging, and we found out the truth. Jen knew that Brad was attracted to Angelina while they were still married. One of Jen's best friends, Courtney Cox, told Vanity Fair there was a connection and he was honest about that with Jen. It was an attraction that he fought for a period of time. But the next year everything seemed to be fine when Brad and Jen went on vacation. The tabloids were expecting a baby announcement any minute, but that's not what they got. They announced their breakup instead. The shock heard round the world the breakup of Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston. What did Angelina Jolie have to do with it? And then, on the same day that Jen filed for divorce, Brad did a photo shoot with Angelina. The tabloids are saying that Brad left Jen because she didn't want to have children, and he's here posing with a perfect pretend family with another woman. Jen was shocked. It must have made her feel like she's not good enough, and that's a feeling she grew up with her whole life. Brad, Angelina, and her adopted son were everywhere. And to make things worse, the media wouldn't stop hounding Jen about it did say what Angelina did was very uncool. You did say that. He asked me a question and I answered it honestly as I could. And then Jen was blindsided when she found out some devastating news in the middle of an interview. And she cried for a period of time during the course of the interview when you talked to her about Angelina Jolie being pregnant with Brad Pitt's baby and her eyes welled up with tears and she got very, very emotional at that point. But Brad wasn't the first person to betray Jen. Someone else she had trusted had let her down before. My mom and I always had sort of a push and pull kind of a relationship. It didn't instill a lot of security in how I felt about my physical appearance just because she was kind of always telling me what to do and how. The year that Jen and Brad got married, her mom published a juicy tell-all book about raising her. She cut off all communication with her mom the year before the divorce with Brad. When she saw the book for it the first time, it was too much for her to handle. Between the book that her mom wrote and the photo shoot with Brad that he had with Angelina, it seems like there was no consideration for Jen's feelings in any of those instances. Jen was trying desperately to heal. She was living alone with her dog, she only saw her best friends, and she was trying to build herself back up through therapy. There wasn't anything that could be done about Brad, but there was one relationship she was determined to fix. Yes. There's news. Yeah, it's been really nice. It's crazy what, you know, your life kind of being turned upside down will lead you to. It's always, it's always some really wonderful things that end up coming out of it. And I, I think, you know, for, for us, it's, it was the time. And it doesn't feel good to, to harbor anger and resentment. We, we do have tools to work through stuff. Everybody does. But the media didn't want to talk about that. They wouldn't let go of this image that Jen was miserable without kids, so they continued to hound her about whether she was ever going to have a baby, and then one day everything changed. Jen published an article in Huffington Post writing, We are complete with or without a mate, with or without a child. We get to decide for ourselves what is beautiful when it comes to our bodies. We all live it with our family or our friends, pushing us to do something that maybe isn't the right choice for us. And I think what we can learn from Jen's story is that you're not defined by any one thing. You're not defined by society's expectations for you. You can stand on your own and choose for yourself.